What is up, JRG Squad? Welcome back to Joe Rubin Gaming. Welcome to episode 3 of the JRG Podcast. We're here with Ben. Say what's up, JRG Squad. What's up, JRG Squad? Yeah. And today, uh, we're going to be doing the t- um, both of our top 10 ACDC songs. Uh, this is going to be like what me and my dad did with the top 10 Kiss songs. Uh, where we go one by one on each other's lists. And we're going to say the first five honorable, men- honorable mentions off the list. Um... So, uh, um, before that, be sure to like the video and subscribe, uh, that'll be awesome, and yeah, okay, okay, so, um, the first five honorable mentions, um, off my list are Shot Down Flames, uh, um, uh, Rock and Roll Ain't Noise Pollution, Have a Drink On Me, Whole Lot of Rosie, and Hell Ain't a Bad Place to Be, all great songs, and yeah, alright, what are yours, Ben? My top five honorable mentions are Touch Too Much, Live Wire, Girls Got Rhythm, Money Talks, and Dirty Deeds, Thunder Cheap. Alright. I thought Dirty Deeds was, was in your top ten. No, it's actually eleven. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Alright, my wait, all right, my number ten is going to be wait, what is okay. My number 10 is going to be Problem Child. Okay. Um, I feel like that, that song get, gets a little overlooked uh, because, I mean, it wasn't one of their big, big hits, but I feel like Bon Scott just is, he sings his heart out on vocals on that song. And I, I actually prefer the version on Let There Be Rock because the one on Dirty Deeds Under Treep, uh, it like it like, um, uh, it's the end and then and then it's not the end because it, because it comes back and then fades out. So that's just too weird for me. And so I so I just like the version where uh, it has the ending and then it's just done for real and let there be rock. So yeah. All right, Ben, you're number ten. My number ten is uh, TNT. It has, I think it has a really good um, rhythm, and uh, I like the pacing of the song with the beats in the background and all the stuff like that. Yeah. All right, my number nine. I'm probably gonna get a lot of crap for this, uh, but I'm gonna go with their biggest hit, Thunderstruck. Yeah, uh, yeah, still an amazing song, and uh, I mean, Brian Johnson's vocals. I feel like I just have that later sound of vocals than from earlier, and like. Like it's the opening track to the Razor's Edge album, and it, it just is it's just a perfect opening track. Yeah. But yeah, all right, Ben, you're number nine. My number nine is uh, Big Gun. I think this is probably ACDC's most underrated song. Yeah. I don't hear it getting talked about as much, but I think it's a really good song. Yeah, I can definitely agree with you. That is on my list, but it's not number eight. Um, which is next. Um, yeah, that is definitely on my top ten list. Yeah, definitely their most underrated song. Alright. Alright, num- my number eight is going to be... Wait, let me look. Dirty Deeds, Don't Dirt Treep. I feel like that's a safe spot for that, because I feel like that's about where people put it. I mean, it's just around there. It's like right before the top five. Yeah. Yeah, one of the very first ACDC songs I ever started listening to. Um, and, I mean, it, it really got me into their music. Um, I mean, the first song I ever heard from them was Thunderstruck. And, yeah, uh, and but this was one of the first that I heard and was amazed by it. Yeah, very hard rocking song. It it just kills it. All right, number eight for Ben. My number eight is "You Shook Me All Night Long." Yeah, it's actually one of the first few songs I heard from ACDC. I think I think it's a little bit different than some of the other ones. So I like the I like the style of the song. Yeah, that did not make uh, my my honorable mentions. I do like that song, but. Uh, yeah, I, I um I I kind of already have done this video, but I I I did the uh, top thirty five, which took about thirty one minutes uh, about a year ago. But uh, 
Yeah, that was number 18 when I did that video. Um, I don't think it got very many views. Yeah, for the people who are seeing this, go check that out. It's an awesome video, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know that was probably shocking to... That would probably be shocking to a lot of people, but it's just my opinion. Yeah. All right. My number seven is going to be Highway to Hell. I know that's the low for that song, probably for a lot of people. A lot of people would probably put that, like, in the top five or top three. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, it, it is, I mean, this is what my dad, my first subscriber, said. Like, it is so, it is so hard not to like that song. If it, um, oh, wait, hang on, wait. Send the voice, okay, good. All right, yeah, so, sorry, my, my mom was calling my dad, um. Yeah, all right, yeah, so, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this on my dad's phone, because we tried to do this on Discord, and it was impossible, and Discord is hot garbage, so, yeah, okay, so, yeah, uh, all right, so, yeah, back to what I was saying, uh, sorry about that, uh, it's so hard not to like that song, if, if you're, it, if you're um, a hard rock and heavy metal fan, unless you just hate hard rock and heavy metal music altogether, then it's just so hard not to like that song. Like, that song is just so Bon Scott. Mm -hmm. Alright, you're number seven, Ben. My number seven is Let There Be Rock. I think it's a great song for a great album. And it's just, I just really like the lyrics and the beat and all the stuff about it. It's a good song. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, well, let me put this down. Okay, um, what I'm doing um, when the video comes out, uh, what I'm doing is I'm 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 putting this down uh, on uh, in Minecraft, and I just built these eleven block tall, like one block wide walls, and just putting signs on it. Yeah. All right. And this is a, this is a coincidence. This is ironic because my number six is "Let the Re Rock." Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. To be honest, this is just the best Bon Scott song there is. Um, I mean, it, it's it's a pretty long song, one of the longest songs. But I mean, it, it's just an amazing, amazing song. One of my all-time favorite ACDC songs. And crazy that's at number six, because my top five just ha so happens to be all Brian Johnson songs. I know that's probably not like that for a lot of people, but it's just how it is for me. So, yeah, but I like how it gets heavier towards the end, and then it just and then there's rock out in the end. It's, it's just amazing. Yeah. All right, Ben, you're number six. My number six is Hell's Bells. I really like the intro of this song, and it carries out to the whole song. It's a good song. I really like it. Yeah. I can agree with you on that one. Uh, yeah, I, I will, yeah, that is on my list, but it's not the next one. All right, number five. Uh, th this is actually normally in the top three for a lot of people. Back in Black. Mm. I mean, everybody knows this song, and like, y you know exactly what band you're listening to when you hear this. Like, like, you hear Back in Black, you're like, oh, that's ACDC. Like, even if you're, you're not a fan of their music, like, you you know that song. You have heard that song several times in your life. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, it's cla it's just classic ACDC, and that, that, that there's no other words to describe besides classic. So, yeah. All right, Ben, you're number five. Uh, my number five is uh, for those about to rock. We salute you. I like the song uh, the same way I like um, "You Shook Me All Night Long" because it's a little bit different from the other songs. It's kind of slower, but it's still you know got the rock to it, so I, I like the song a lot. Yeah, that that is an amazing song. That definitely is on my list. We'll, we'll get to it when it's there. Yeah. But yeah, okay. All right, uh, number four. Uh, we were just talking about this song, like, two minutes ago, and that is Hell's Bells. Yeah. Just like what Ben said, uh, the intro of the song, it lasts about a minute, and then, and then, you just hear screaming vocals, I'm a rolling thunder, 
Power rain. I'm coming down like a hurricane. And it just goes on. It's it's just amazing. But yeah. And like that was that was the very first song that Brian Johnson ever recorded with ACDC. The first song he wrote was "You Serve Me All Night Long," but the first song that was ever released by ACDC with Brian Johnson was "Hell's Bells," and that is one of their best songs ever. Yeah. All right. All right, Ben, you're number four. My number four is a classic. It's Thunderstruck. Yep. I think this is a very classic guitar, like playing in the song. And yeah. Most, pretty much everyone knows this song. It's very classic. I think it's a pretty good song. Yeah. I, I can agree with that. Uh, yeah, 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 definitely everyone knows that song. Probably even more than Back in Black. I mean, you hear it at, like sporting events. I should have said that earlier. But, like, but, like, it gets people hyped up for sporting events, whether you're a fan or a player or anything. But, yeah. All right. My number three, uh, we talked about this early on, and this is going to be Big Gun. This is probably not in a lot of people's top ten, and I'm glad to see that it's both in our top tens because, because it is definitely the most underrated ACDC song my mom is calling again. Oh my god. Send a voicemail. Okay. Alright. Yeah, mom, if you're watching this right now, we were filming a video. Yeah, never mind. Okay. Yeah, she subscribed to me, so I don't know. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, back to what I was saying. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, um, uh, so, what was I saying? Yeah, I mean, it it it's just the intro to it is awesome. I mean, it is just absolutely awesome. I I said that, yeah. Um, and like it, it, people just overlook it. Like w me and Ben looked at um a like um every ACDC song ranked, and this was like in the thirties or forties or something. Like, what is wrong with people? Like, it, like I know, like that is just I. I I mean, I love Big Gun, and, like, it's just amazing. All right. Ben, you're number three. All right, going to the top three here, I have at number three, Highway to Hell. Yep. I think this is one of their classics, obviously. It's a very good song. Uh, the rhythm is very memorable. It's just yeah. It's a good song, good vocals. Yeah. All right. Yeah, definitely. All right. My top two, um, when I was originally making this list a while ago, it was hard to decide which one I liked better. But number two is for those about to rock. Yeah. Yeah. Like Ben said earlier, um, it is a slower song, but it still has the rock elements into it. And something that you did not say, Ben, is that it gets faster towards the end. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And... Like this is this is the closer to is the perfect closer to ACDC concerts and I know it's called for those about the rock you would think so my dad said it should be the opener, but 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 it's like saying thanks for coming, we love you all, we salute you. So like it it, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Alright, let me finish putting this down. Alright. Alright, this one's hard for me to put down because it's got the parentheses, we salute you. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Alright, Ben, you're number two? Alright, my number two, uh, I would argue, is probably the most recognizable song, which is Back in Black. Yeah, I would actually say Thunderstruck probably is. Yeah, I mean, I guess. But yeah. Either, either one of those, if you, like, even if you don't even listen to rock, you, you know those songs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, and my number one ACDC song. I mean, it could be unpop. It, it's not that common, but it's just what I happen to like the best. It, it's probably... Po it, maybe the hardest rocking ACDC song out there, and that is Shoot to Thrill. Yeah. I mean, that, it's just... I mean, the second song in Back in Black, After Hell's Bells, perfect. It doesn't get any better than this for ACDC. I mean, it is a great hype-up song. I mean, the, 
and the crowd jumps up and down every time they play this song, and, yeah, like, like, I, I like how it gets kind of softer, um, in the second half of the song, and then comes back a little bit, and then rocks out in the end, and then it, it's amazing, and Ben's number one, I mean, when I first heard this, this is just, I mean, this made me so happy. Yeah. All right, your number one. My number one ACDC song is Shoot the Thrill. Yeah. yeah. I finally felt like I wasn't the only one that, that thinks that. Yeah, it's just a really great song. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you have any other words for it? Also, it's probably like the first three that I heard, and the vocals in the song are probably some of the best out of all of these, these songs. And um, good guitar in there, in the background, it's just yeah, a good song. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So that's gonna do it for our video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, yeah, I right. bet you not know these people, but I do a shout out to give. Shout out to, um, well, first I gotta give a shout out to my guy, Homer and King Baseball Pro, uh, Max Miller, um, uh, go subscribe to the channel, and shout out to his sisters, Sammy and Charlie, for subscribing to me, um, uh, I really appreciate it, um, uh, and yeah, so that's gonna do it, and you know what we're about to say on the count of three at the same time, one, two, three, let's go! Alright.